He's the man in the hat. He's open for Tom Segura. He's co-owner of the place. Give it up for the wonderful and talented Mr. John Ellis. Hello, everybody. What's up? Uh, thanks for coming out. Uh, wouldn't be much of a show if you hadn't. Uh, done a lot of shows to know people, and you always laugh more when, when you exist. So... Uh, Good job. Uh, a lot of people, they wonder why I wear this hat. Uh, I'd like to clear that up once and for all. I, I wear this hat uh, to trick vegans into sleeping with me. <laughs> Are you a vegan, sir? No. <sighs> <laughs> it's brutal. I am, I am single. I went on a date uh, with, a, with a girl uh, recently, or whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's tough, right? Like, we went to a bar, we got a couple of drinks, and then and, uh, once she went to the bathroom, right? But before going to the bathroom, I swear to God, she got the, the coaster from underneath her drink, uh, and she put it on top of her drink. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty insulting uh, to me for, for two reasons, right? Like, number one, it suggests that, that I'm the kind of person that might be tempted to, to put something in her drink, which I'm not. I'm fucking not. I would never share my drugs with her, okay? Uh, <laughs> And, and secondly, it suggests that if I was that kind of person, her fucking coaster would stop me. <laughs> like I'm some kind of gorilla that can't figure out the puzzle. Your coaster's not Thor's hammer. Oh, I don't know. What else can I tell you guys about myself? Oh, I'm, I'm uncircumcised. Uh, as God intended, before he changed his mind. Yeah, other uncircumcised people in Gabitche. Yeah. Yes, fuck yes. Was kind of hoping to hear from more women, uh, but it's great. Good to, good to see some people proud of it, right? For some reason, sometimes when I ask that question, people just kind of shrink. <laughs> yes, I don't know why. What is that? There's a lot of stigma around unto No, sorry, there's a lot of smegma around... <laughs> No, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a stigma. The stigma is the smegma, right? People that are circumcised, they're always like, ooh, you're uncircumcised. How do you keep it clean? <laughs> I feel like I speak for all uncircumcised people when I say soap. Soap. We use... <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like that they call it uncircumcised, right? That feels a little unfair, right? Because technically speaking, I'm not un anything. Yeah. Like, I mean... They are the ones that are on the, the, the tip of their penis, right? Like, I feel like we should reappropriate the language. Instead of calling us uncircumcised, I think we should call them semi-dickless. Uh, I think would be fair. Uh, what else? I'm a good person. I give to charity. Or I, I used to give to charity. Uh, I used to give to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. You guys know the Make-A-Wish Foundation? Awesome. For anyone that doesn't know, basically it's a charitable organisation, takes terminally ill children, gives them a dying wish, right? Uh, there's only one rule, y you can't wish not to be dying anymore. Uh, <laughs> I didn't make the rule, okay? That was God. That was God. So, so most kids, they'll wish to meet a celebrity, right, or go to Disneyland or something like that. And if you're like me, you give to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, you get to feel really good about yourself for having made this kid's dying wish come true. Except, it's kind of like one of those small print type situations. What they don't tell you is that at least 50% of that time, that kid makes some kind of miraculous recovery <laughs> and then he just goes on to live a perfectly happy life. Which is, which is good. <laughs> don't get me wrong. But, uh, <laughs> it's just not really what I was giving money for, you know? Like, like as, a, as a consumer of, of, of charitable service, you understand? Like, look, if I'm giving money to the Make-A-Wish Foundation for some kids dying, which I just think there should be some kind of a guarantee <laughs> that the kid's actually going to die. <laughs> you guys get it. Thanks for coming out. I'll give it up for Dr. Matthew Murtha! Give it up one more time for Johnny Boy!